Good morning. It's Saturday, March 25th. This is Greg Dixon from The Heartfelt Life. I've been reading a book called The The Surrender Experiment by Michael Singer. Phenomenal book. Highly recommend it. The only book I'd rate higher is probably one by Richard Branson, but this is a phenomenal book if you're an entrepreneur and you're spiritual entrepreneur and you consider yourself a spiritual person or a spiritual entrepreneur. Highly recommend it. And that being said, uh, this is a very unique um, book. And it's all about this idea of surrendering to the flow of life. So here what follows is three sets of thoughts and recordings, the segments I have for you today. And hope you have a really great day. Namaste. I've been listening to a book called The Surrender Experiment. And I forget the author's name right at the moment. Michael's... Was Michael Singer? I'll uh, let you know before I end this recording. But he has to... He made an interesting observation. Man lived a really amazing life. And the thing that I found most interesting was how he surrendered to life. I mean, he really surrendered in every possible way. And... He made a statement in this book that he stopped. He made it. He he was being feeling so grateful that he made the decision to stop interfering with the flow of life, and it just gave me pause and made me think: What would happen if I stopped interfering? with the flow of life and I just surrendered to the flow that if I just surrendered to the way things are and how things are unfolding in what is presented to me I think life would be a lot simpler at least that's my projection that's my perception and I'm curious whether what you think do you think your life would be different you think you'd approach anything differently? I I think that it would take me some time to figure out how to do that. But I think that I'd probably experience a lot less stress. Or, you know, well, maybe not a lot less stress, but I'd, I'd be able to surrender to the way things are and allow things to be the way they need to be and go, oh, okay, I guess I'm going here. I guess I'm doing this. And I... I guess I'm not going to do that that I thought I was going to do. What would be wrong with that? What I mean, that just seems too simple, right? It seems too easy. So I'm just really curious what you think and whether you've ever had that thought about surrendering to the way things are, to the way life is and how it's unfolding. Do you think things would be different for you? Do you think you could do it? What do you think the challenges would be? What do you think... I think it would make it be a major decision that you'd have to make every single day. I'm curious what you think. By the way, the um, it is Michael Singer, uh, who's the um, who's the author of that book, and it just as I'm reflecting on it, on Michael Singer's book, and it, which is really the tale of his life over a 30-year period of practicing yoga and surrendering to the flow of life. It's dawned on me that there have been some occasions where I just simply surrendered to life. And one of them that I remember is in 2014. Yeah, 2014, when I was very... I ended up being sick enough that I was in the hospital and they discovered I had colon cancer and they did the operation anyways things all turned out great they got it all no chemo no radiation it's all good and uh yeah i'm coming up three years three years uh to being being free of that anyways i i just recalling how i just totally surrendered to that process my only focus was to meditate i chose to do uh, there's in the Karma Kaju t- tradition that I was studying at the time. I did a meditation called the Medicine Buddha, 
there's a specific mantra to do the Medicine Buddha and that I'd received instructions and verbal teachings from my teacher as to how to do it and I, that was my total focus I was just surrendering to the flow of the way things were what was unfolding before me I need, that I need to go through this with the surgery and all was it stressful? Absolutely, it was stressful times. There was pain after the surgery. There was an infection after the surgery. In some ways, it was kind of a mess. But you know, I had this. I just sort of surrendered to the flow of it. I was just calm and I was just good with it all. It was amazing to me. So, things don't have to be dramatic all the time we can surrender to the way things are and it can be life can be simpler so I'm just really being curious about this so there is a natural unfolding to life to everything that is alive. There is a natural way for a dog to be. There's a natural way that a cat is. A cat is not a dog, a dog is not a cat. And we are who we are. Or are we simply a collection of manufactured, uh, created experiences, created perceptions, projections, and, a, and, and really a series of judgments, projections, attachments, meanings, conclusions, things we've come to believe, perhaps. by surrendering to the way things are, that the barking dog is simply the barking dog. That at this particular point and date and time of my life, this is my life. This is the way things are. And so embracing the way things are, embracing the natural ebb and flow of life is truly a gift of freedom. So as you surrender, <laughs> as you go about your day and observe and see all the different things that you perceive to be good, bad, nice, not so nice, beautiful, curious, confusing, all those things, whatever they might be, we release and surrender them. We can actually surpass them. And surpass isn't the right word. We can actually move beyond our perception of them to see them for what they are, just things and sentient and non-sentient beings being what they are, as they are, the way they are.